there is not going to be um, either not going to be any deal um, or the deal is going to be disastrous. <clears throat> Many of us knew that coming in, but there is this narrative, and Felix referred to it before, that what was going on in the Bella Center was everybody, uh, governments, NGOs, everybody, co corporations coming together and doing everything they possibly could to save the world, right? This was the narrative of this summit, sort of all hands on deck. And I think that's why it's so important for us to tell the truth, which is we didn't all try. <laughs> Many of us were not even allowed to try. Our <clears throat> were silenced inside the Bella Center. Many, many common sense ideas were never seriously considered. And many people inside the Bella Center were working extremely hard to prevent actual solutions to climate change. So it's more important than ever for us to expose these power dynamics because the lesson that we tried, we failed, we just can't do it, is extremely demobilizing. And unfortunately, it is the message that a lot of, a lot of the, the media is telling. So I think it's very important for us as we go forward and, and try to tell a different story about what happened here in Copenhagen, that story has to be that this that their model revealed itself to be a spectacular failure on its own terms, um, even according to their own terms. And it's and, and it is because their model failed that it's our turn now. That all the voices that were silenced, marginalized, repressed over these two weeks must take center stage as we go to Mexico.